My channel if you're new here my name is Wincy. Uni is starting back up in literally like five days and so I am going to make this vlog to show you guys how I am going to basically like prepare for it. So right now I need to go buy some new headphones. Um, I'm looking to buy the Apple AirPod Pros because I've heard that they're like quite good and I like that they're noise cancelling and very light. And also tomorrow I have a second year law school orientation. They were gonna do it in uni but because of COVID they're going to now do it online so that's tomorrow afternoon and I'll also film that. On Monday I tried to film a bit of my career leaders training um, but I didn't actually get that much footage because we were mainly just like sitting down the whole time and so there wasn't anything like too interesting to film. I'll insert it here but basically the career leaders is an voluntary co-curricular activity I'm doing for the business school and basically we just act as a mentor and guide uni students through their cover letters and CVs so we can sort of like help them get like a job and we also attend special events like expos and networking events and we screen the students' um, CVs and cover letters. So that's like basically our job in the business school. So yeah, I'm doing it this year and I'm doing it with a couple of my friends which is fun. Every semester we have to sit through like this five six hour training day and it's very long but i think i've learned a lot about like recruitment and about cvs and cover letters and guys i'm here and i'm so excited i'm just gonna go to no leaming which is over there i have to put my mask on because there's been two new covid cases in the area so just gonna be safe though a lot of people don't actually have their masks on right now which is uh not very good Guys, I got them! I'm so excited to unbox them. I am just going to do a little unboxing haul. They retailed for 450 bucks. Not me using my course fees to pay for these, but uh, they are kind of like for uni anyway, so I guess like it's fine, but um, I really would not recommend you uh, use your course fees to just pay for like random stuff. Otherwise, you're going to be in like severe debt and debt that you don't want to be in um, when you finish uni. But yeah, so I've put, took the packaging off and then this is what it looks like. This is my first time doing an unboxing haul, I think. Ooh. Designed by Apple in California. Am I saying California, right? California. Was it California? Um, and then there's just like, all these like care instructions and stuff. Um, so the reason why I kind of wanted these ones and not the second gen is because a couple of my friends actually have the AirPod Pros and they all like the one, this one so much better. And I like that the AirPod Pros have like the little silicone thing so it like sort of sticks in your ear and holds it in place a lot more than the other ones. And then so there's like a packaging on top of the airpod case and i'm going to take this packaging off slides out like this let me try and focus this so this is what it looks like very sleek very nice chuck these open Woo! beauty what a beauty i've never put airpod pros in my ears so I'll just chuck these on hopefully this is the right ear they actually look kind of cool can you imagine me like walking around uni with these or like studying in a cafe? These are actually kind of cool. So that is the unboxing. This is it. This is what it looks like. And this is going to be so much like more practical for uni because they're like small. So that's the unboxing. Good morning guys. Um, it is pretty early in the morning right now. I am going to go pick up these public law books that this guy is selling for a pretty like decent price. So I'm going to do that now. I'm not woken up this early inside. So I just picked up the books. It's just this public law uh, questions and answers one and then the student companion one. They come in like a pack and then there's also ones like this for criminal and uh, torts and co contract as well um, but basically like this is just like a guide for 
Okay guys, so before the orientation starts, I just want to show you guys some of the tips that I've gathered from the book. So firstly, I've written before each lecture, briefly review the previous lecture. Um, at the end of each week, review all the material for that week's lectures. Go through each module once I've finished it. Um, and then the fourth thing is obviously to ensure I'm familiar with the facts of each case and the ratio. Fifth is to prepare a brief set of study notes either A, after each week, or B, after each module, and obviously to prepare for tutorials. So I think with these, it's basically ensuring that you are active recalling and that you are consistently working and staying on top of your course content throughout the entire year so that you're not piling it all towards the end and it also helps you with time management so hopefully some of these tips will help you because i'm sure that these will help me so just a quick overview of the program greetings and good health to us all I'm delighted to be here. The remainder of your degree will take about three years. Um, most students will take all five part two courses in your first year of study. I thought I would just introduce the teaching team. We have two lecture streams. I'm teaching one. You will learn about sentencing law and represent a client in written and oral sentencing submission. But you'll be in very safe hands. So I'm going to conclude by a few of my top tips for doing well at law school and beyond. The first is come to class whenever that's possible. My second tip is, of course, strive to get the best grades that you can at law school, but don't get stuck on them. Grades are actually a very tiny part of what makes an incredible lawyer, and some of the most talented lawyers I know, some of our leading lights in the law profession, have very average law degrees. So by all means, try to do well, but don't make up a story about what um, marks mean in terms of the future. My next tip, don't play it safe. Step out of your comfort zone. A legal career is challenging and this is the time to start pushing yourself and learning about yourself. Um, because it's a time when you don't have a client whose well-being is riding on your risks or mistakes. My last tip, and this is the one for beyond the law school, although it's specific to criminal law, Try to get to know your cohort. It's another reason for showing up in person in class. You have a really unique opportunity to get to know your peers when you're at law school because there will be some very impressive people in the room, but you get to know them before they put on their polish and before they come, become important. You're going to be starting on Monday with um, Associate Professor Hannah Wilberg, who's an expert in administrative law and the liability of public authorities. She'll be followed by Professor Janet McLean QC, who'll be doing a substantial part of the topic on Parliament of the Legislature. So the law school orientation has finished. I actually really enjoyed that orientation, surprisingly, and I learnt a lot more about the law school and the types of events they have and the types of clubs they have and more about um, how the law school deals with equity and stuff like that so it was actually honestly really interesting and I didn't mind the two hours but it is now 4 30 just a bit before I had a bit of lunch because um, in half an hour at about 5 p.m I have another orientation it is basically let me show you guys it's a orientation to the profession with Auckland Law School so I think for this orientation, it's just a, a optional one. We're just going to discuss the legal profession and what the work environment is like and what being a lawyer is like. And I think that this will be very interesting. It is basically women in law talking, so um, very empowering and I'm very excited. So we thought that as you enter into part two, we ought to introduce you to the idea of joining the profession. We have some very eminent uh, speakers to talk with you today about what it means to join the profession. And they will also talk about their exciting careers. She graduated with a BA and an LLB honours from Auckland University in 1982. She was senior scholar and recipient of the Auckland District Law Society Prize for best undergraduate record. So a very, very high performing student indeed. And, uh Mana ena reo ero rangatira ma tena koto. Na mana fenua o tene rohe tena koto. Na to ira o tene wananga kiora koto. Speak to you today 
about the importance of ethics to the practice of law and its importance to you as students. Called to the bar refers to the summons issued to men considered fit to speak at the bar. And the bar is the wooden barrier which separates the public at the rear from the judge at the front of the royal courts. And we continue this ritual today because of what it symbolizes. And that is what is unchanging in the practice of law, respect for and adherence to enduring values, the legal code of ethics, scrupulous honesty in our dealings with others, and an understanding which goes with our privileged position. Well, you are expected to treat um, others with respect and courtesy. Equally, you are entitled to that as well. And I think one of the things that we found when the Law Society was really in the spotlight was that young people came out of law school or, or people came out of law school and and they didn't know that they were entitled to that same respect and courtesy as they were expected to give to others. And if I can give you um, one message, it's that we, as a profession, we treat each other with respect and courtesy. That we would try very hard to uh, help each other as much as we can. And I am proud to say that the people I started my pupillage with back in 1992 are still friends and I'm in contact with them. It's been a few days and I just want to pretty much update you guys um, about what has been happening. Basically, I have signed myself up to a meal service kit called HelloFresh. I'm sure many of you guys have heard about it. I decided to join HelloFresh because I just feel like I'm going to be on the go this semester, going to be really busy and I won't exactly have time to plan out what I'm going to have for each meal of the week and when I'm going to go do my grocery shopping and stuff like that. So HelloFresh just makes it a lot more easier and convenient. So I'm going to show you guys like some of the meals that I picked out for this coming week. So I have ordered my HelloFresh for delivery on Thursday the 4th of March and these are the meals that I have decided on. This one, that one and this one. This isn't sponsored by the way. I'm super excited. Like actually look how good this Vietnamese style pork and pear tacos look. Looks delicious. And um, yeah, at the moment I'm just doing three, but maybe like in the future I might do four. We'll just see how we go with this. I have also been on my period for the past like five, six days and I've just finished. So during my period, I don't really like to go to the gym because I don't know, I just feel so groggy um, and like heavy and unmotivated. So I haven't been in the past five days. So I'm going to go today and um, I'll probably do a yoga and pilates class at the gym it's called body balance it's so good and i don't know i might take you guys along with me to that but i feel like i filmed quite a lot of me like doing my workouts and stuff so i feel like you guys kind of get what i do but i might film it because i feel like i haven't filmed a yoga and pilates session in a long time guys it's saturday today by the way i completely forgot to say and there is only one more day until uni starts back up which is crazy like i'm going into my third year and I feel like just last week I was in my first year. I remember like me in my first year, I was always telling myself to, I know this is like so corny, but I was always like, live in the moment, like appreciate this moment because I'm not going to be a first year forever, you know? And like, I really am not, like I am here now in my third year and I only have this year and two more years to go before I graduate. I know it sounds like a while away, but realistically, it's actually not that far away because time goes by in a blink of an eye and so I really encourage you guys to you know like put yourself out there and do things in uni volunteer yourself and immerse yourself into university because that's how the time is going to go by faster and that's also how you're going to make a more memorable university experience for yourself like this year I'm involved with the career leaders at the business school um, I was also involved with the career leaders last year and through that I feel that um, I've made a couple of new friends and I actually really enjoy it you know and it's also something that will help me with my CV build me up and so yeah I highly encourage you guys to join some sort of club 